Okay, so now that we have this fade in and fade out functionality working along with the stop clips, what I want to show you next is how to use the same functionality that we use for the stop clips for a scene launch, which will essentially launch from one scene to the next after you trigger this fade out scene. So how we're going to do that, let's go ahead and just name this. Let's set up different scenes. So we'll name this clip C. Copy and paste this into scene 4. We'll name this F. You can just come in here, select all, and shift these up to F. So now what we'll do is using the same functionality, we'll hit Command Shift T to launch to create a new MIDI track. We'll rename this Scene Launch. And then we'll just create a MIDI clip by double clicking in there. And then we want to change the MIDI 2 to IAC driver. Then we'll change this one to channel 2. And then we'll use the same C1 note because it's on a different channel. It won't interfere. So what we'll do now is launch this clip. Then we'll come over here to scene 4, click on that first, and then hit Command M, and it will map that. So now, what we want it to do is, so this is a two measure fade out. This is stopping this clip, which it doesn't really need to if this is taking over, but this is still stopping that clip at measure three. Now what we're gonna do at measure two, just so it's a nice crossfade, we'll put this C1. So we'll turn this loop off, put this at three, and we'll draw in our C1. So now when we launch this first scene, in the key of C, we do our fade out, it'll go into that next scene to F. There you go. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and let me know.